Hi guys, welcome to this full review of this Vinci Cold Brew Maker. As far as I know, it's a rather new device as of January 2024. I think it was brought on the market in December 2023. And it's not just like copycat of every other cold brew maker. It has quite some innovation built in. So that's the reason why I bought it. And this is what I'm going to show here, by the way, the box with some additional information. So here we are, packaging in the packaging. Here it says cold brew 360. So let's open. By the way, Vinci has already an electric cold brew system, something which I really like and looks like a lot of people are very happy with it. I've been using also a very similar electric cold brew coffee maker for quite some time and I've been super happy with it. So we can make cold brew in half an hour or in an hour, but I've tried a little bit around with different systems and I figured that the taste is still a little bit better when we give it a little bit more time. Here the suggested time I think is 12 hours and we don't have to be worried about power supply, charge, batteries, nothing. Everything is just a normal natural cold brew process. So here we are. Comes also with this measuring cup. Looks like it's two tablespoons. The whole set comes also with an instructions manual has just a couple of pages so here are the first two pages more information here and the last two pages the main picture has a couple of different parts by the way it has this hinge here in the back be careful when you open that so we can lift this up here or actually the whole part here inside we even have this part here don't see at the moment what's the idea of this one here. The whole thing is plastic, but it makes pretty good impression. Not super solid, but I would say decent. And then we have the filtration system with a couple of different parts. So I think we can remove this one here and also the top and also the bottom. You can see, so it has a little bit more parts. So I would say, yeah, it has a couple of more parts which we have to clean, but it's not too crazy. And of course we have this part here, which is the biggest innovation. And for me, totally makes sense. I've been brewing a couple of times just with a pitcher, which has something like that inside. And a lot of coffee grounds here, especially on top and on the inside have been absolutely dry. Haven't been touching water after 24 hours and especially even more after 12 hours. And so this construction should help to bring the water better inside to extract the coffee taste much easier, much faster. For me, the construction makes totally sense. It's called the 360 filter and can also be removed. Okay, yeah, easy for cleaning. So we have a little bit more parts than usual to clean, but it's very sophisticated. Comes also with this cup here, which helps after the brewing process. If you want to remove the filter with the wet coffee grounds, you can do something like that. Put it here, wait a couple of minutes till it's a little bit drier. And after that, you can just pour out the coffee grounds. So I'm going to clean, rinse everything, and then I'm going to prepare the whole thing. Okay, so I've cleaned everything, filled the pitcher up with water, 1.4 liters. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not 1.4 liters, at least not till the filling level. It's only 1.2 liters. That's a little bit disappointing here. You can see the whole weight of the pitcher with the water. That's 1,483 grams. The weight of the pitcher alone is around 260 grams which makes it pretty much straight 1.2 liters only. But it is as it is, so let's try also to fill the coffee grounds here. And I've also brought here my favorite coffee, that's pre-ground coffee. And it's my favorite because it is a coarse ground, which is usually the best when we are preparing cold brew on our own. No matter if it's such a system or an electric vacuum pump. And it also has very low levels of oil that makes it easier to clean. 
So that's still my preference here. The recommended amount is around 100 grams of ground coffee or fill it up up to about one inch below the top of this strainer here or about nine double tablespoon cups here. So make sure that everything is really prepared. You have the lid, you have the 360 degree strainer. And so I start filling this up here. So that's around 60 grams. That's probably what I'm going to use in the future. So we have it around here. Maybe you go first with the recommended amount and then maybe reduce a little bit to see how much you really need. 100 grams of coffee is really a lot. So I think I'll leave it like that for the moment. Also to see how good this works when we don't fill it up. So we close the lid now. Add strainer to the top part. You have to screw here so it's nicely secured. And now it's time to add it into the water. Make sure that it's not spilling. But it seems like it's working really nicely. I felt a little bit of resistance till the ground coffee was getting wet. And now you can see it's going down nicely. What I can see also that it starts nicely with the brown color. Usually with some other system takes much more time. And also what we see here is this nice construction of the lid which closes everything properly. Most people are using that outside, not in the fridge. So you want to be sure that no insects can go into your coffee. So we can fully close it. Absolutely perfect for the preparation maybe shake it a little bit every couple of hours or so leave it for at least 12 hours or 24 hours so that's what i'm going to do and then i'll let you know how it turned out so this is 24 hours later you can see it has nice dark color even up here of course i've been shaking this a little bit every now and then what you can see also can shake it pretty hard there's no leak it's pretty tight also something which is super important. So let's remove the whole top here. And that's the moment where we need this cup. So we can put it here. So it's not causing any mess. So let's try here a little bit. You can see it has really good color, dark, nice color. And at the moment I can't see any coffee grounds. Yeah, I'm trying here like that. Definitely good, strong taste. And so I fill it up with milk. Try again. Yeah, awesome for me. Perfect. This is 60 grams of ground coffee. But of course, you can also use 100 grams. Now we also want to see how clean this is when you fill this up. I usually store this in such a bottle. So you can see how good the strainer is. Yeah, when we go a little bit to the side, you can see there are some coffee grounds, but definitely not much. It's pretty clean. We can pour almost everything out without any coffee grounds. Just a, just a little bit here, but really good result. Now, of course, you want to see how easy this is to clean. So let's remove the lid here. I mean, I'm not going to show you everything. I don't have a sink here. Just trying to push this out here. It yeah, came out pretty nicely. Pretty much everything gone. But of course now we have to remove this and uh, rinse everything. So it looks like the effort to clean is not much bigger than with some other systems. But we definitely have much better result. You can see that here. No dry coffee grounds. And I had usually so much problems to get everything wet with some other systems. Yeah, I would say definitely huge advantage for this Vinci 360 degrees system. It's not just a gimmick. It definitely helps to bring out more taste out of your coffee in shorter times. And so before I wanted to let you go, I wanted to share my experience after about two weeks. So I've been using this every day now and it works really good. And I will continue to use that for sure because it really works really nicely. But the negative things, again, apart from that only 1.2 liters and not 1.4 till this marker here, yeah, the biggest uh, disadvantage I would say is that this mesh is obviously not metal. It's just plastic. You can see the difference between the, the metal. Here we have metal and that's not staining. Also this part here, metal not staining. This part here, plastic. 
and staining from the coffee grounds. Also down here you can see metal. This is how it should be. Also another thing after cleaning, I usually remove this part here and then was shaking out the coffee grounds and this doesn't have a very firm hold. And so when I was shaking out the coffee grounds, once this part here, this strainer in the middle also went into the trash bin and so I had to retrieve that. So what I may be going to do next time, I'll open it here, try to remove this, even though when there are still the coffee grounds inside, but maybe still the better solution than having to retrieve this one here from the trash bin. So maybe not perfect, but I would say probably still the best solution out there at the moment. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and already try from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.